one thing that we see is that the backside imaging is becoming a commodity. Uh, we see it entering now not only in backside images from mobile applications and getting into camcorders. Um, so I think um, we're really going to see it more in professional applications also. And the other thing that is clear is that there's also definitely a shift from uh, focus on mobile imaging also to automotive imaging and 3D imaging for gaming for instance. Well, I think the, uh, the gaming relied a lot on men's devices until recently. But now, for instance, for Wii to see what, what the player is doing, you see that a lot of more 3D range finding and 3D images are becoming more regularly available in more, I would say, standard economical solutions. It used to be very large pixels, very special solutions, and it's becoming more consumer and more accessible. 3D imaging has two aspects. One is for gaming, where I think the business model is similar to what we have for mobile imaging. For Interesting for 3D is also automotive imaging, and there the environmental temperature requirements are very, very high, the uh, quality requirements are high, so I think there will be quite still some work to be done to meet the stringent requirements of automotive manufacturers to have 3D images accepted widely in this application. There are definitely opportunities, but there's still some work to be done there, I think. Uh, what, I, what you see at the...